Hey everyone, it's Linda from BrewNymph.com coming at you with another edition of What's Brewing Florida. This time it's the 4th of July edition. And we've got so much going on this weekend, so let's start with tonight. Tonight we've got Engine 15 2016 Imperial Chupacabra tasting or tapping going on at 6 o'clock. Last week they had the vertical tasting. If you missed my story on BrewNymph.com about the Engine 15 tasting last week and the upcoming anniversary Saturday, get to that in a minute, take a look at that story, okay? It's, it's going to be a great party. Also, there's a bunch of tap spotlights and glassware giveaways going on. Check the tap this page on BrewNymph.com. Got all those out there for you. Jack's, Jack's, Jack's Beach and St. Augustine. There's trivia going on at Atlantic Beach Brewing tonight, Ladies' Night at Wicked Barley, Beer Bingo at Brews and Dogs in St. Augustine, Beer and Popcorn at Alewife with Left Hand Brewing and Bike MS. Also, Southern Swells is donating 5% of its sales tonight to Bike MS, and Crafts for the Cause at Wicked Barley, benefiting the Children's Home Society. So that's tonight, a lot going on. So what about tomorrow? Tomorrow is the last day of June, in case you didn't notice. There's free pizza at Brews Atlantic Beach tomorrow, beer and cheese pairings at Veterans United. There's tap takeovers again on, on the tap that's page on brutif.com. Intuition is at 3 o'clock. They're releasing for the Guild bottles of Goza, and those will be $10 each. There's no limit. $2 of each bottle sale goes to Florida Brewers Guild to stress independence of craft brewers. You might have seen the story this week that the Brewers Association came out with a seal to identify those brewers who meet the definition of craft brewers. Uh, there's been a lot of all kinds of opinions about that this week. The general consensus is it's a great idea, so be looking for more on that in the future. Elsewhere, tomorrow, down in Coco, Dirty Ore Beer Company opens in Coco Village. Now, I met Pat and Chris several years ago for the first time, and I see them quite often over the past of the course over the course of the past few years. Been talking to them about how this brewery is coming along, and they're finally doing it. Tomorrow's the day, so congratulations to them. And that brings us to Saturday. There's a Red, White, and Brew Freedom Run 5K at 8 a.m. Anyone else doing that? It sounds like so much fun. There'll be some beer stations and I guess some bacon stations along the way too. So hopefully the weather will cooperate. There's a Murray Hill pub crawl going on. Sip and slide at Adventure Landing in Jack's Beach. A barbecue followed by Name That Tune at Brews in Atlantic Beach tomorrow, um, Saturday night. Comedy at Veterans United. Velo Fix will be at really good beer stop on Saturday, fixing your bikes and getting you ready to cruise all over Jack's Beach on your bike. And the big news Saturday, don't forget, is Engine 15 seventh year anniversary party. And again, take a look at the story on brewnymph.com. The tasting last week was a ton of fun and they'll have three variants in case you didn't know or you're living under a rock or something. They will have the bourbon barrel, the rye whiskey and the rum. So get ready to party big time on Saturday, and they'll be doing some time tappings during the afternoon as well. And there's something about a salted caramel nut sack. Okay, so just putting that out there. So that's Saturday. Elsewhere Saturday, Florida's oldest craft brewery, Dunedin Brewing, is having its 21st anniversary on Saturday. Congratulations to them. I've been there. That's a great little spot over there. Uh, really need to get there more often. And I mentioned this before last week. New Smyrna Beach Brewing is having its grand opening at its new digs on Canal Street in downtown New Smyrna. Now, they will be filling growlers Saturday, so you can get your growlers for the 4th of July. And they'll be tapping some new beers. I wrote about that a couple of weeks ago. Give it a read because there's some stuff in there that you might not know. And if you've ever wondered where I get that blue growler that I take a lot of those pictures with, this is it right there. Thanks, Chris. Congratulations to New Smyrna Beach Brewing. And 
Also, there's another anniversary going on Saturday. Daytona Beach Brewing Company in Daytona Beach is celebrating its third. So congratulations to those guys. Another great little spot there. I was there last year. And lastly, there's a rib fest at Darwin Brewing out there in Bradenton, tapping a bunch of beers, going to have some ribs. Sounds like a great old party. And by the way, if you missed it, they did start releasing some beers exclusively for retail sale at Lucky's Market. I just started a new page called Review a Brew, Review a Brew and the double IPA is on there right now. And that brings us to next week. It'll be the 4th of July, so happy 4th to everybody. Intuition will be having a barbecue on Monday, July 3rd. Ann O'Malley's in St. Augustine, an all-day 4th of July party with drink and food specials. And Brews and Dogs also in St. Augustine, extra happy hour all day with some special prices on beer and wine. Also, Green Room Brewing in Jack's Beach will be open, and they will be releasing bottles of fruit on the bottom with strawberries at noon. And stay tuned. I'm always updating brewnymph.com with new events every day as I see them, and also some new stories and some insights and some behind-the-scenes pictures that I think you might only see them on that site. Okay? So, hey, thanks for reading. Thanks for following. I have a great time doing this. Hope it helps you guys out with your beer planning and your beer events and happy 4th of July and cheers. <laughs>